Hey, what is up, you sexy beasts? My name is Shadowfax and or Louise, whichever you want to call me. And today, guys, I present to you some Modern Warfare 2 PC gameplay. And uh, don't get too excited, it's probably going to be shit because I suck at this game. But despite me sucking, despite the noob tubes, despite the flashbangs, when I played this last night, I did have a ton of fun. But also, it ties in with what I want to talk about today, because Activision have announced that they are going to be releasing the Modern Warfare trilogy in all its glory on last gen. What? Yes, you heard me right. On last gen. I'm as baffled by this as you are. Now, I get that Infinite Warfare is not going to be on last gen consoles, and I get why. Especially considering the Xbox 360 is no longer being made, and I'm sure the PS3 will follow suit soon. And I do get that maybe Activision still want to cater in some way to their last gen audiences, but is this really the way to do it by giving them something that they already have? Because if you're a last gen player, for whatever reason, maybe you just like to play last gen sometimes and you do have current gen, or maybe you're just a casual gamer so you can't really justify spending that much money on a new console, or maybe you just can't afford it. Whichever reason, are you really then going to go out and shell out 30 quid for games that you've, if you're a Call of Duty fan, you've probably already got, or if you haven't got them and you do want them, you can go and buy them for about a fiver pre-owned from any little game shop. Because it's not like they're going to be coming out on last gen remastered, because last gen is last gen. They've already got the graphics that they can have. Maybe they can make them a little bit better, but if they can, it's not that much at all. So basically, you want people to shell out 30 quid for something that they've either already got or could go and buy for 15. Like, really? Seriously? Now I get that Activision is a business and they are there to make money, but I think they're going about it all the wrong way. I could actually see an actually better way of doing this, and it would make everyone happy, and it would probably restore a little bit of faith in Activision again. And here is how I would do it if I was running shit. You know, I never will run shit, but this is how I would do it. I would fuck last gen, because it's last gen. You can't keep tailoring to something. People can't keep living 10 years in the past forever. So fuck last gen. Or, if you really want to cater to last gen, just make some shitty little port of Infinite Warfare to last gen, like they did with Black Ops 3. Then what you need to do is do the Modern Warfare 1, 2 and 3 all remastered and given to the new gen, current gen, whatever you want to call it, players. And PC, because you could actually make it look better on PC as well. But then again, PC's got mods that can make it look better as well. So maybe you don't even have to bother with PC. Sorry, PC players. But what I would do is I would sell Infinite Warfare on its own. So those that want Infinite Warfare can buy it. And those that don't want it don't have to buy it. I'm not being forced into buying it just to get Modern Warfare remastered. And then I would do the Modern Warfare trilogy all remastered. And people could buy that separately on its own as well. So the people that want Infinite Warfare can buy Infinite Warfare. The people that want Modern Warfare Remastered, the trilogy, can buy that. And then those that want to have both can buy both. And then what I would do is I would stick to my fucking promise of Black Ops 1 being remastered on the Xbox One. And fucking remaster it. Remaster it, Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2. For, you don't even have to remaster it, just put it backwards compatibility for the Xbox One and hopefully like PS4 can have that shit soon as well and then just be done with it and then just sail on with new games sail on with new games that's all they've got to do that is what would make sense that is what would bring back the trust in Activision that they do actually listen to people and that they do actually care. So that people that want Modern Warfare Remastered are not being forced into buying Infinite Warfare just to get it. But that's how I would do it. So let's run down that again. Activision, this is how you should do it. This is what would make people happy. Infinite Warfare, a game all on its own. So those that want it can buy it and those that don't want it are not forced into buying it. The Modern Warfare Trilogy remastered and brought back as its own onto the, the current gen consoles and let the people that want it can buy it. And then Black Ops 1 and 2, where you promised to bring Black Ops 1 as backwards compatibility to the, to the Xbox. So either bring Black Ops 1 and 2 back as backwards compatibility or remaster the fuckers and we'll, we'll pay, for, pay you for that. Like, I actually would. If they remastered Black Ops 1 and 2, I probably would go and buy it. 
I probably would pay for it. So they've still got ways, they've still got options of making everyone happy and still making money. So what the fuck are they doing? But anyway, guys, this is turning into an absolute fucking run as per usual. So I'm just gonna like just calm down before my blood pressure goes through the roof. But anyway, guys, that's been my thoughts on it. Like I actually think that'd actually be a pretty good idea just to do it that way. Um, let me know what you think in the comment section below because I think that'd be a good idea. It'd keep us happy and it would keep Activision's money grabbing hands happy. But anyway, guys, that's been it from me. I'm going to love you and leave you, and I'll see you in the next one. I love you. Bye. Sexy beasts.